Hey, PG, this was uh, the first time you guys, you know, had a win this season where the ball wasn't moving and the three-point shot wasn't falling. How important was it for you, you know, to get a win like this where it was much scrappier and uglier than normal? Uh, I think we just, we got to see it all. Uh, <clears throat> we got to learn how to win in all ways. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's more so just about us. And... Uh, how we figure out and overcome different challenges. Thank you. Next up, uh, Tomer. Hey, Paul, um, congrats on the win. Uh, I'm just curious, uh, going through, I guess, starting uh, the day, how, how tough was it to maybe, maybe focus on the game and, and you know your thoughts on what you saw happen throughout the day, the morning, the afternoon in, in uh, DC? Um. It was more so just following it through updates and then reading up on it. Um, but I mean, it comes to no surprise. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's two different worlds, two different worlds we live in. Um, and, and that was clear as day. Um, <clears throat> the respect for uh, color people is, there is none. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just the times we live in. It's uh, it's very unfortunate. Um, we just see people's colors. Um, you know, it, it just goes to show voting, why voting is so important. At the end of the day, um, Trump is who we elected and uh, who we put in office. And you see what he's, his belief is and, and you see, um, you know, what kind of person he is. That's what it comes down to. He rallied his people. Um, and his people rallied behind him. And uh, it's just a society thing. Nothing was done about how they approached uh, their protests. You know, we tried to protest with peace and, um, you know, <clears throat> we are looked down upon and, and we're this and we're that, um, but we see how they protest. Um, it's unfortunate, uh, but, you know, it's, it's an ongoing dialogue, ongoing, conversations we got to have um, with all races. Mar Marcus said he, he didn't think the game should have been played to an extent. I mean, did you feel that way at all? Yeah, I, I, I would have been all for the league just shut down. Um, I think this was something that, that definitely should have been addressed. Um, you know, but there's, there's, there's a middle line to it. You know, there's a fine line to it. Um, because it does give some positivity with people being able to watch games and uh, basketball going on to change, um, you know, what people are feeling and thinking and ultimately what's on TV. Uh, so it's, it's, it's bittersweet. Uh, but I, I definitely would have been all for it if the league shut it down today um, to kind of just, you know, bring light to what's really going on in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Andrew Gray. Yeah, hey Paul. Um, I remember in August when you guys came back to play when the, the league re restarted. Um, there was so much talk about kind of tangible next steps that players and, and management and ownership could take to kind of bridge these divides. When you say that you know we are living in two different worlds in a lot of ways, I guess what do you feel like there are tangible next steps the players' union, the, the league office ownership can do from here? Um, yeah. You know, I think the NBA being uh, <clears throat> one of the uh, most open leagues and, uh, you know, the way we've handled other, uh, you know, stuff in, going on around the world, I think, um, you know, the NBA's platform has been unbelievable. Um, you know, it was definitely something I think we could have stepped in front of and, um, you know, used our weight, used our influence, used our power um, to kind of address the situation. Um, End of the day, you know, you don't know how much it'll do. Um, this has been going on for centuries, you know, hundreds, hundreds of years. Um, you know, so you don't you don't know how much this or how much we could have done um, as a league. But uh, we got to start somewhere. We got to that's where it has our mindset has to be. We got to start somewhere. Um, but again, I thought today we, we, we could have tried to address what's, what went on today. Thank you. Thank you. We have time for one more. Uh, Leonardo Torres from El Comercio. 
people with such a complicated context, how difficult is it to concentrate to play a game as a professional level? How to prepare for it? Is it difficult? Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, I mean, you, you, you gotta, you gotta be able to, uh, just lock in when you need to, you know, obviously it's, uh, you know, different emotions and you're thinking about other stuff. Um, but the second you step into the arena, you know, that has to transform and, and you, you have to, uh, kind of let all that go and kind of just focus on what the agenda is. Um, that's how I stepped into it tonight. Um, you know, I had conversations and talks with friends and, you know, just dialogue with friends about what happened today. Um, but the second I got into the arena, had to shift over, focus on what was, uh, what I needed to do my job for tonight. Um, but, you know, it, it is difficult. It is difficult um, because we want to use our voice. We want to use our platform. We want to be, uh, you know, with the people, um, you know, so it is difficult, but, you know, jobs got to be done and, um, you know, we, we got to be able to be prepared and be ready. Thank you. Thanks.